Hello everyone, uh, today I am talking about screen capturing. You can capture your uh, current window as well as the multiple uh, window of your screen, uh, of your desktop screen you can say. When we click on the button then uh, capture your um, selected screen and the size and the width is depend upon the screen size selected. Okay, so add a picture box and the uh, button control if you want to uh, move your pictures uh, also you can set multiple pictures capturing the multiple pictures uh, looking like a video it's but it's not a video actually it's a concatenation of your um, capturing pictures so it's uh, easy to uh, design or you can say easy to capture images in easy to capture screen size of your desktop it's easy project capture screen okay on the button control uh, what is the logic behind this First of all, add a bitmap. Uh, that bitmap capture the image uh, with the size, uh, with the width and the height, um, and blast that image into the picture box. So, create a new bitmap, and the height and the width is depend upon the size of the screen. So, use a screen dot primary screen that is selected screen dot bounds dot width also you can set the screen dot primary screen dot bounds dot height so the selected screen added into the bitmap oops okay that's pretty simple now the second logic behind this the capturing screen is first to select the selected screen and get the height and the width now second to use a graphics class and that image that uh, regulations of the height and the width convert into the image so use a graphics dot from image and image height and width is available in the bitmap now g dot copy from screen and that location is 00, zero. that is point upper left source point uh, left uh, you can say integer source y destination x and y there is the four parameter but both uh, four parameter is 00, zero. And the size of the block region, bitmap dot size. So the final size is depend upon the bitmap size. So bitmap size is depend on the screen. So picture box one dot image that is bitmap. So by using this code, you can capture the single uh, image, or you can say the selected screen using single button click. But when you uh, select multiple images uh, one uh, one by one then you uh, move the three aid one by one uh, just after one seconds you can uh, select the capture screen is easily and uh, if you want to uh, um, create a new program by video recording of your screen then this program is nice and uh, after one second then move that new program by like looking like this when we click on the pro, uh, button then uh, every time when your cursor move or your screen moves the capturing moment capture the moments so take a new button control and this code will uh, run just after one second. 
again so uh, looking like a loop you can say capture multiple images and infinite time when uh, until your uh, uh, until your uh, app is not classed you can say so the same code uh, run it here for the single thread so thread thrd thread for the new thread okay and that thread handle the capture and the capture method hold the above code this is the new thread okay thread dot start with this code easily generate a new method by using generate method from cap uh, it's easy to uh, develop your code and copy this copy and paste it your uh, paste uh, the above code but remember that uh, that code run under the while loop uh, for the infinite time so while true and the same code copy from uh, button one click and paste it here that uh, uh, thread is generated every t after one seconds so um, you must to use thread dot slip uh, method for wait states and uh, run again one second it's not uh, millisecond uh, for the slip method but one second for the 1000 uh, milliseconds okay now run your code and your program will start now for capturing the uh, images yeah multiple images is captured yeah that's fine so please subscribe my channel if you like this video and share this video also please 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 my subscribe my channel thank you very much